so that in our last lecture we modeled these chores in this lecture we are going to copy it and move it to the net to, to other truss spacing but before we do that let's put the base come here and now let's say we have a base this type base is there are many base here to choose from let's go with this select here select it come to the middle and you drop so you can double click this to open it when, when you open this from your design maybe you know with the thickness maybe you want the thickness to be 16 and base depends let's say 300 Okay, this is too small. So you want it to be 400 by 400. All right. Here okay, you can choose the material. So this place here under under rods under rod profile the on the circular section rod maybe the rod is 20 mm from your design choose that and now what you want to use maybe this is what you want to use choose it it is going to be inside you choose it and maybe you want this if you want two knots You have that. The knot. Knot of twenty. And now this here, let's modify. Okay. And you before you do that come here both choose whether it's anchor rods if you want to modify face you have that if you want to have groups you add it there wash up leads You can choose your but before that you can choose the type of boards then under boards to say these distances you 
this is what you want guys good Since you have anchor rods, no need to choose both. Come back to your washer plates here. Good. It is for washer plates. This can go. This can go. It's too high. So the total is five fifty. Let's say your B. Let's say you want your B to be one hundred. Yeah, you can see. You can see how it's taking effect. Depends on what you got from your design. You can do this. Yeah, so we might decide to change this too. Then, then um, now we can. I think now we are okay. We can be able to to proceed. But before we proceed, let me show you how these growths work. Maybe if you want to add growths. That is where you will add it. Buy our glues. So now we can select this. Under 3D, we can copy, clear everything. Like from here to here, copy. It's okay. So now we can. Copy these grids, copy linear, clear. This thing was 5. This is the y direction 5,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Copy this in seven places or you can see okay. we, you can see the copying is
this will also achieve the same result. So, insert our pull lines. So, to insert our pull lines, there are things we do. Let's pick our point now. Okay, let's drop a point there. So we can copy it and move it by 25. Go to the center. Okay, so I can copy this. But before we copy it, let's offset it. This side, and before you offset it, you change this. No. Yeah, I'll make sure that the, the we now offset it in the x direction by 200. See how it goes. Correct. Pick this. Just copy it. Pick the end point again. Good. So we have that. So we can select this. Copy linear at one thousand six seven. So it has been copied. See it good. So we have that. So now, so now let's draw our pole lines. Pick a beam. Back on. Come to the section and choose the section you want to make use of. If it's a rectangular hollow section, I'm using. I'm going for lightweight section. Now that we have mirrored this, let's copy it. is manually so now let's protect this hold our middle key button okay so we have done our pull line In our next lecture now, we will learn 
I'll we'll have to put a connection between the polar and this member. Thank you for watching.